just into the CBS 4 newsroom and a police report just obtained by our news partners at the Miami Herald that might shed some light on why Miami Heat player Gerald Green was suspended. CBS 4 sports anchor Jim Barry is in the newsroom. He has those details for us. Jim. Rick, here's what we got. According to the report, Green punched someone in the eye in the lobby of his downtown Miami condo. This was after he showed up with bloody hands asking for medical help. Green spent four days at a local hospital following a strange episode last week. The police report says that while a desk clerk called paramedics, Green went outside by the valet and collapsed. Green, according to the report, then slugged somebody who tried to keep him from going back upstairs to his condo in a building at 11th and Biscayne Boulevard. Police say they helped transport an unruly patient after he got loud with paramedics. Now, the Heat offered no such detail about Green's behavior, but suspended him two games for conduct detrimental to the team. And after last night's game, Heat President Pat Riley said he trusts Green from now on will behave. I just uh, believe that uh, that we can and so I've been around this game for 48 years and uh, he's, a, he's, he's really a, a great kid and he's a great athlete, can really shoot the ball, he's explosive, we're going to need him and, and, and I believe that, that he's going to show that to us. Now the police report says the person slugged by Green decided not to press charges. Green will rejoin the Heat on Friday. In the newsroom, I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.